What's up everyone, Dark Synth here, and in this video I will be going over the concept of taking advantage of disadvantage in Tekken 8, as well as showing you how to sidestep properly so that way you don't get clipped by things you think you should have stepped but you didn't. So without further ado, let's just jump on into it. I already have everything set up here, so that way I can just flow through and explain things as they go um, without having to record everything. So. Here, the concept of taking advantage of disadvantage, um, what I mean by that is, so as you can tell, down forward 112, um, or down forward 111, is minus 9 on Paul's end, meaning it's safe, but you can duck it after the first hit, but let's just say you don't, and now he's minus 9. So, taking advantage of disadvantage, what do I mean by that? Paul is at minus 9. So, what do you think you should retaliate with? Is it a fast jab? Or is it a 12 frame mid, perhaps? Well, it's neither. What you should be retaliating with is slower moves. So, the, that way you can put yourself in a position to either have plus frames... But most importantly, change your timing. So what I may mean by this? So instead of just going for a regular jab or down forward one retaliation or down forward four or whatever, something quick, you want to try to use slower moves so that way you throw your own timing off and maybe you'll get a counter hit on your opponent trying to mash. So instead of just going for down forward one after, we can go for like a back one plus two. And if he blocks that, I'm now at plus six. And I can run my offense at that point. So if we do a little frame data math, if Paul is minus nine and we do a back one plus two, that pretty much makes my back one plus two instead of a 22 frame startup move. It makes it a 13 frame startup move. And even if he tries to step it, he can't because it tracks. The only thing he would be able to step in this situation is my instant while running to. Because of just how linear the move is, it doesn't really have good tracking. But even then, you can still, like, use down forward 3 plus 4, which is 22 frames. Which is a tracking mid that's safe, I believe. Or you can even take your turn back with a slow low. Like Dragonov's hatchet kick. Down back 3 plus 4. And if it does hit, he's now plus 7 on, on hit. And if he gets a counter hit, he gets a stomp follow up. So my point is, you want to use slower moves when taking your turn back when your opponent is more at a disadvantage. So, like, minus 7 and up to minus 9. You want to be using stuff that can put you in an advantage, so that way you can start your offense and get going and possibly even win the round. Okay, so, you know how I said... You've probably been stepping improperly and probably getting clipped by stuff you don't think you should be getting clipped by. Well, that's because you probably are stepping incorrectly. For the longest time, I thought just tapping up and going that short amount of distance is fine. You'll, you'll sidestep a lot of stuff that way. Well, that's just dead wrong. You don't want to just tap up. The only reason you'll want to do that is uh, at a much higher level, and that's if you know your opponent's going to throw out a jab, so that way you can just dodge it really quick and try to go for a punish. But we're not going to go over that because that's too high level for this video, and I'm trying to uh, talk about this in a much more understanding way. So I have a good example here as... Most of you may not know, 
even though if you're at a disadvantage, a slight disadvantage, I wouldn't say major disadvantage, but if you're around minus one to minus five, minus five max, you should be able to step a lot of stuff. So here we have Paul doing back four into down forward one. So if the back four connects, I'm minus four. And Paul's down forward one, I believe, is 12 or 13 frames. But I can step it if I go to the right, because it's linear to the... Or left, my apologies. It's linear to the left. But what if I just try stepping it to the right? I get clipped. But, instead of just stepping, what if we do a slight micro walk? Oh, all of a sudden we can step as down forward one. It's because there's a lot of factors when it comes into this, and it's frame data, one of them, and distance is the other. And the, just the tracking or lack thereof of down forward one. So, instead of just tapping... What you want to do is you want to tap and then slightly hold it. You kind of want to do a double tap. And then once you do your little sidewalk is when you can block. And then if they whiff something, uh, especially something with even more recovery or they do the full string, you can confirm and go into a launcher. Or just go for a quick mid and punish them really quick and get that free damage. But yeah, um, if this video was at all helpful, make sure you give it a like as it helps with the algorithm and my channel. And subscribe for more guides like this. I'm trying to help level people up um, to past an intermediate level because that's what I'm trying to do myself. So if you like this kind of content, definitely subscribe as it'd be greatly appreciated. But that's it. This is Darkson signing out and I hope you take care. Peace.